outside in the parking lot at the Green Bay Wildlife Sanctuary, which um, I like to semi-affectionately call the Duck Factory. Uh, the person I knew years ago called it the Duck Factory, and I thought that was a very appropriate name for this place. So I'm going to be walking up toward their main building. I'll turn the camera around, and maybe this will give you some idea why it's called the Duck Factory. Although, like I said, the correct name is the Green Bay Wildlife Sanctuary. And we're coming up to the observation building. So we're um, at the back side of the observation building and not allowed to feed the ducks right in this area here. But let's take a look around. There are a lot of ducks here, as you can see. And I've bought two of their small dollar bags of corn, which I'm going to walk down to the feeding area and uh, see what we can do about feeding a few ducks here. Mallard sat right on her shoulder and, and put his when, head over <laughs> and went in my bag. Peek into her bag of corn. They're here now. Well, I know. They, I'll <laughs> yeah. try it. they think you got corn. Well, they're right. It's in my pocket, though. <laughs> well, there you go. That's uh, how aggressive these birds are. And um, look out, ducks. I'm practically stepping on them. So, I'm going to set the camera down a minute so I can move around a little bit more freely and feed the ducks. Well, hopefully you can hear me. I feel like the five pokers are working. Come watch. You get the I can't walk. I know I stepped on my feet, and then I don't let me walk. The 
see how I can following me. I really do feel like the Pied Piper. Especially this young lady. I threw just one small handful of corn and look what happened. Okay, let's take a look around at the rest of the um, wildlife sanctuary here. We have an exhibit on eagles. There is a bald eagle in a cage here. It's a, you can see it's a fairly large cage. There's one eagle. The other one is in, you can just catch him in the nest. With luck you can even hear him. Here is a barred owl. Well, I don't know if this camera is going to focus on the owl or on the cage. There are two of them in that enclosure, because we'll go over and see. There's the other one. Here are a couple of long-eared owls. Let's see if we can. There's one of them. There's the other one. Again, I think the focus is probably on the, just for information, the temperature today is in the mid-20s. We've had um, real light snow most of the day. Maybe, maybe an inch, an inch and a half. So, This is definitely the time they'll. To, this is the time of year to come out here and see the ducks at their best. Um, they're here all year long, and of course you can buy corn and feed them all year long. But there's so much natural food for them at other times of the year that this time of the year they're just ravenous for the. Uh, food, the corn that people bring. And uh, you can see they're still just 
literally flocking in. Look at them coming down the walkway there. A couple of Canada geese, but it's mostly ducks. And the sign says do not feed these particular animals, so it would be nice to them and not feed them. Don't ask me uh, what kind of ducks these are, I don't know. But they're pretty nice looking little, little characters, especially those guys, all black and white. When, um, when I get this up on YouTube, if anyone can identify these particular ducks, I'd be happy to, <coughs> to know who they are. I know that somewhere around here there's probably signs that'll tell me which kinds of ducks I'm looking at. Um, but I don't see the signs right now. Obviously the uh, Parks Department heats the water enough to keep it flowing here. <laughs> Trying to reach the bottom. Thank you. 